Hello my dear students, welcome to our program for chemistry first secondary stage. We have a revision. A revision about what? About unit 2. So this is the revision of unit 2 about nuclear chemistry. So the nuclear chemistry is very interesting for us. What's the types of these questions? Let's go to see. Choose the correct answer. This type of question one that's found in your exam, in the new curriculum. So concentrate with me very very well to make what to make a good answer and right answer for your exam let's go to see the first one which one of the following that con constants in the closed system we have energy or mass temperature enthalpy so which one of them that's the following is constant in the closed system so closed system it's a part of our environment that contains matter and energy so which one that's what that's constant without a change this one is what is mass right so the mass it doesn't change through what through or inside the closed system so another one on another type of these questions let's go to see this one we have which of the following represent the structure of the proton from the quarks in the form of quarks we have what's meant by quarks they are small particles that found inside the protons and the neutrons so this one is uud or uuu or ddu or triple d what's meant by each one of them so we have the neutron and proton that contains quarks uud it means up up and down quark triple u it means what it means three up quarks that found in this parts so we have the third one it's ddu it means down 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 and down and we have the last one is up quark and triple d it means what it means three down quarks what's meant by each one of them they are the forms of proton i need the form of protons here which one is right this is what uud it means what it means up up and down quark let's go to see another one so what is the following which of the following represent the structure of neutron also so this neutron that found in the form of quarks we have three parts here so these three parts they are found what d u u d or triple u or triple d so if you need to choose one of them we have two out what are they triple u and triple d they are out from this one so we have this this answer is D D U. Why? Because this one is what is the right one like this. Down, down and up quark. They are three particles that found in the neutron or proton in the same time. Let's go to see another one. When a radioactive element is put in the front of Geiger counter. This is what this is a problem about half lifetime. So we have the reading becomes 4000 K per hour. So after passing 72 hours the reading becomes what becomes 500 decay per hour calculate the half lifetime so i need to find out the half lifetime here in this part so the half life what's meant to buy half lifetime it means the time taken by a radioactive element to decay its mass or to decompose its mass by half half it means what it means 50 percent of its mass so it makes that like this so the diet here it's by decaying decaying of what decaying of some particles and rays so here we have the answer like this so the answer here it means 4000 decay per hour i divide it by two so here divide two it means 2000 decay per hour and divide two also so we have thousand here and thousand here it's divide two so we have 500 decay per hour what's meant by this this element or this radioactive element it makes one and two and three here this is one and two and three here they are what they are the half lifetime or the time taken to make change from what or to make the composition from 4000 decay per hour into 500 decay per hour so this one t half or the half lifetime here equal what equal 72 that's the total time divide three what's three three here it means one half lifetime and the second one and third one here so they are 72 divide three 
equal what equal 24 hours so this half lifetime of the sample of radioactive element it's what it is 24 hours let's go to see another one here why doesn't the number of nucleons change on emission of gamma rays from the nucleus uranium 235 and the atomic number is 92 this because what why doesn't the number of the nucleus change to emission of gamma rays from the nucleus uranium any element that has radioactivity so we have what we have this one like this because gamma rays has no mass no mass it means what it means mass number or it has no atomic number so this gamma rays it just rays it's like the energy so it move out from the nucleus of radioactive element without any change so this one is uranium 92 in here in this equation it must write you must write this one okay the uranium 92 and 235 by gamma rays plus what plus the same element without any change because here we have no mass number and we have no atomic number let's go to see another one so we have nuclear energy here it is the illustration for nuclear fusion here produces deuter nuclei what's meant by the deuter nuclei it means the new nuclei that found or that produced from the first nucleus or the mother one or the first one so if this neutron go to the split other nuclei this sets up a chain reaction so this chain reaction it's click play to find out this one like this so we have play here stage number one for the nuclear fusion here to occur the nucleus of an atom must first absorb a neutron when this nucleus is split it releases two or three neutrons according to what the type of element the type of reaction so it's called chain reaction start of the chain reaction chain it means what it means many reactions that happen in the same time or after each other so after that we have another one for play the stage number two so this is the release the neutron can cause fusion to occur in the other nuclei this one produce even more neutron which can continue to change the reaction continue the chain reaction here we have many neutrons here to make what to make collision with another atom of uranium to make the chain reaction or to continue the chain reaction here after that we have each fusion one that makes what that makes decomposition of this of these atoms of another element of uranium so it produces another type of neutrons or another number of neutrons so the fusion occur more and more neutrons are produced if more neutrons are produced that are absorbed the chain reaction can get out from what of control another part of these reactions or another part of this revision we have what we have nuclear energy also that here we have nuclear reactor this reactor it makes what it makes or this is the idea of reactor click play to find out how the nuclear power station use the nuclear fusion to generate electricity it's very easy to make it so stage number one that here we have the nuclear reactor nuclear reactor start to make what to make the nuclear fusion or the chain reaction to produce large amount of heat energy so this heat energy it makes what it makes heating here on the boiler so the boiler that contains water so the reactor nuclear fusion of uranium few roads releases what releases heat energy which is used to boil boil the water and after that the second one so we have this this part of the steam that move the turbines here and these turbines it makes moving of generator to change kinetic energy to what to electric energy and here we have natural or national grids to to distribute the electric energy to houses or to